Last week, the leaders of Uganda Local Government Workers Union said the Public Service Minister Mululi Mukasa had committed on behalf of government to give priority to their salary enhancement in the coming financial year. The union's general secretary said the minister had undertaken to commit in writing and they were waiting for the letter to call off their strike. In the wording of this letter, dated 6th July 2022, the minister told them that government is committed to enhancing the pay of all its workers in a phased manner according to approved salary pay plan and targets depending on the availability of funds. The information minister had stated the same position earlier. That our appeal is that they should be patient because we know that all public servants should have their pay enhanced and the medium term we shall be enhancing for or the civil servants, including those in local government. So that is my submission. And, uh... On Thursday, they held a meeting to discuss this letter, which they called a misrepresentation of what was agreed in last week's meeting. It, this is not even a question of lying, because I take that that guy was representing government. So it was under obligation not to manage public affairs in accordance with his personal opinion. You invite us, and you fool us. What do you want us to do? I don't know who is promoting industrial disharmony in, in this country. Mudiba said the meeting had resolved that they go on with the industrial action, demanded that the minister withdraws the letter, and that they should take the matter to the International Labour Organization to expose what they described as government's discriminatory salary enhancement, as it is contrary to international conventions to which Uganda is party. So our strike is on, and we stand by it. Then lastly, I'm aware that people are calling people to, to intimidate them. So, as far as evidence, to Jirina, a joke to Yamba, or to a case here. So, we are going to handle it in both in the local courts here and international level. And we are going to do it by next week. It's unlikely they would have it easy before the International Labour Organization Tribunal as government would advance what it deems justification for its pay policy, but Mudiba hinted that exposing the government would work for the union. That if they declare that you have offended this clause here, here, the image will not be the same. Are you aware of that? Efforts to get a comment from Minister Mululi Mukasa were futile as he did not pick his known numbers. Local government workers are among the lowest paid civil servants, earning between 2.3 million shillings and 187,000 shillings before tax. We stand. We fall. Edward Mhumza, NTV.